Namaste friends. Welcome to RH Chemistry. In today's Chemtonic series, I am going to discuss about very important concept for JE, NEET and CET also oxoacids of phosphorus, sulfur and chlorine. So first we will see phosphorus. So before going to write or remember these names, you have to know these prefixes. See, wherever you will see ortho acid, ortho the meaning is that normal covalency of the element. For example, boron normal covalency is plus 3, hence H3BO3 is ortho boric acid. This is plus 3 ortho phosphorus acid. Plus 5 is also common for phosphorus, hence ortho phosphoric acid. Like that. Pyro means remember heat. So whenever you take two molecules of ortho acid and minus water molecule, minus water molecule, you will get the molecule called pyro acid. Hypo acid is nothing but oxo oxidation state lower than the us acid. What is us acid? Us acid is having lower oxidation state than the ic acid. Ic acid is the higher oxidation state acid. So remember that sulfuric acid, sulfurous acid like that. So hypo means oxidation state lower than the us acid. Meta means acid with one molecule of water less than the ortho. Meta means one molecule of water less than the ortho. See, first I will tell you hypophosphorus acid. See, hypo, hypo because oxidation state lower than the low acid. This, this is plus 3 and this is plus 1. Lower than this. Hypophosphorus acid is also called as phosphenic acid. Orthophosphorus acid, ortho, it is a normal covalency, plus 3. Phosphonic acid also you can call it as us acid because it is one oxidation state less than the ic. One means two oxygen, one oxygen difference means two oxidation state. So orthophosphoric acid is plus 5. These three basic acid in this case, remember this. Then remember pyrophosphorus acid. See pyro means heating of this phosphorus. Whatever the name is given in front of that phosphorus, this one. You have to heat this. When you heat this, remember, remove one water molecule. Remaining is, actually it is H6P2O6 before heating. Two molecules I will take. Then when you heat, remember, you are going to get H4P2O5. One water molecule is removed. Then pyrophosphoric acid. From here to here, if you see the difference, minus H2O. Two molecules of this, minus H2O, you are going to get this. Minus water molecule, so H4P2O7. Then, hypophosphoric acid means one oxidation state less than the ic acid I told. Correct? Huh? So, remember one thing, whenever you do pyro, oxidation state does not change. Oxidation state does not change. So, this is, this is also plus 3 and here also phosphorus is in plus 5 oxidation state. And here, phosphorus is in plus 4 oxidation state. One oxidation state less than the this, hence it is hypo. Hypo, remember, hypo. So, then metaphosphoric acid, meta acid is nothing but acid with one molecule of water less than the ortho. See, ortho is H3PO4, it is. H3PO4 minus water, if you do, you will get HPO3. In that polymeric form is possible. So, there I have taken cyclic trimetaphosphoric acid. In all these cases, what you have to remember is, structure, very very important, structure, basicity of the acid, and reducing nature. First I will tell you the structure. One thing you remember, all these phosphorus are tetrahedral in nature with the sp3 hybridization at the center. Then, in this case remember, compulsory one p double bond O and compulsory one pOH bond should be present. Remember this point in your mind. One p double bond O, one pOH should be present tetrahedral. Yes. Now very simple, s 3 pO I will write. So tetrahedral, 1P double bond O and 1POH compulsory. Then remaining is what? 2 hydrogen side. PO2 is over, 1H is over, 2 hydrogen. 2 hydrogen you write here 1 and here 1. Very easy to write. See. And here if you see the structure. So once again, 1P double bond O and 1POH is compulsory. Tetrahedral means remaining 2 bonds. Now how many oxygen left? 1 oxygen left, you put for 1. Then two hydrogens left, definitely one hydrogen is here, one hydrogen is here. Because two hydrogen, you never keep it at one bond. H2 does not exist. Remember, at one bond, because in that case, hydrogen is forming two bonds. So it is not at all possible. So one oxygen here, two hydrogen here. See, in this case, orthophosphoric acid. So P double bond O, three bonds present. One P double bond O and one POH compulsory. Then remaining two oxygen, 
and two hydrogen. See, very easy to draw. Then pyrophosphorus acid. See, pyro is obtained from this. Correct? On heating this, on heating, what happens is OH from here of this molecule and another beside another molecule is there. Just imagine OH from there. OH, OH, it is removed as water molecule. It is just like this. Remember. So if you consider one the phosphorus acid like this OH OH and H and here one P double bond OH OH H. So I have written two times orthophosphorus acid. Now H2O is removed from here. H2O is removed from here. So hence what is left? One oxygen is present between two phosphorus. That is like this. Very easy to draw. If you understand this, you can write it very easily. So P double bond O, one oxygen bridge, double bond O, and here it is another OH left, another OH left, and another H is left, and another H is left here. Like this you have to draw. Similarly here. So similarly, one OH, one OH. Only the difference between this and this is that here whatever H is there, you add OH. That is the only difference. So pyrophosphoric acid, I will draw it here. P double bond O oxygen P double bond O so OH 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 and OH very simple correct next hypophosphoric acid in case of the hypophosphoric acid remember this oxygen is not there direct P P double bond O double bond O OH 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 then trimetaphosphoric acid. So here HPO3 thrice, it is a cyclic trimetaphosphoric acid. So PO bonds are like this. Alternatively present. PO bonds are present like this. Double bond O, double bond O, double bond O compulsory. And one POH is also compulsory. One POH is compulsory. So very easy to draw. Now here very important point what they will ask is. So remember acidic nature and reducing nature see what is acidic nature wherever you see poh bond that is acidic nature basicity of an acid you will call it as basicity of an acid you are going to call it as remember reducing nature means direct ph bond ph bond results in reducing nature so now you can see one poh is there correct one poh is there hence i can write this as mono basic acid Mono basic acid, one POH is there. Two H is there, so hence I can write it as a strong reducing agent. Strong reducing agent. And here, and here, remember, two OH is there, hence it is a dibasic acid, and it is a reducing agent because one pH bond is there. Reducing agent, that's right. Reducing agent. Here, orthophosphoric acid you can see, 3 OH, so it is a tribasic acid, tribasic acid and 3, there is no pH bond, hence it is non-reducing. Remember these 3, like that you can write it for these also. Here you can see dibasic acid, here you can see 4 POH bond, tetrabasic acid, tetrabasic acid, remember such question they can ask. Then, in this particular case. So, monobasic acid and reducing nature, we have discussed. And a disproportionation reaction, this one you remember. So, disproportionation of S3PO2, so plus 1, so plus 5, minus 3. Disproportionation means same element under both oxidation as well as reduction. S3PO3, plus 3, forming plus 5, forming minus 3. So, these two are disproportionation reactions. This cannot undergo disproportionation because highest oxidation state is present. Further oxidation is not possible for this. So, remember, another important type of question they can ask on this is how many sigma bond, how many pi bond. For one I will write, remaining you can write it very easily. So, what is the mistake we will do, I will tell you. So, for example here, this is the one, this is the one I will write. Now, how many sigma and how many pi? How many sigma and how many pi? See, double bond means 1 sigma, 1 pi. Correct? 1 sigma, 1 pi. So, 1 sigma, 2 sigma, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sigma is equal to 8. So, pi, so pi is equal to 2. You will write like this. Correct? What is the mistake you will do? I will tell you. Very important. So, you will write, you will calculate it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is single bond, sigma. So, double bond means 1 sigma, 1 pi. So, 2, 8. But this is, remember, wrong. 
Why it is wrong? See, OH bond you left. Hagadar OH andre no O bond H, correct? Ha? Single bond. Hence remember, sigma is plus 2, plus 2, 10 here. So, other than you consider matter, illay. So, for this remember, sigma is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Namakani kanastai rodu. Whatever it is observed, but plus 4 is there here, OH, 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 OH. Hence, it is 12, pi definitely 2. Like this, you calculate sigma bond and pi bond. Definitely will do the mistake. Please careful about this. This is about oxo acids of phosphorus. Now you will see oxo acids of sulfur. It is very simple. Only the structures are very important here. Oxo acids of sulfur, remember. First one is sulfurous acid. Remember in all these cases, sulfur is sp3 hybridized. Once again, sp3 hybridized. So, in this particular case, the structures are like this. S2SO3. So, when you write S2SO3 structure, remember, S1 lone pair should be present, double bond O, OH, OH. So, it is tetrahedral, but one lone pair is present. So, uh, trigonal plane are, uh, this uh, pyramidal structure, OH, OH and double bond O. Now, in this case, S2SO4, we know that S double bond O, double bond O, OH, OH. S2SO5. S2SO5 means carose acid peroxo monosulfuric acid. Remember here oxidation state of sulfur is plus 4. Here it is plus 6. Remember here already in redox reaction chapter I told this is exceptional. If you calculate oxidation state you may get plus 8. But sulfur plus 8 is not possible. Remember this is plus 6. Now carose acid peroxo monosulfuric acid. Remember S double bond O double bond O. OH is common. But another O, O, H I have to write. This is peroxide linkage. Hence it is peroxo monosulfuric acid. Then S2, S2O7, pyrosulfuric acid. See, pyro is there from sulfuric acid. So take two sulfuric acid molecules. See, two sulfuric acid molecule. When you heat minus water molecule, you remove. What is left out? See, H2, S2, O7 is left out. Like this you have to write the formula. Do not miss it to buy it. Don't buy it at all. Practice. So, formula structure is remember S double bond O, double bond O, OH, oxygen bridge, S double bond O, double bond O, OH. Like this, H2S2O7, perox, uh, the pyrosulfuric acid. Then Marshall's acid is also called as, it is Caro's acid. Remember that, Marshall's acid peroxide linkage is there. So, P double bond, sorry, yes it is. S double bond O, oxygen, oxygen peroxide linkage. S double bond O, double bond O, OH, double bond O, OH. So, these are the Marshall's acid structure. Then S2S2O3. In case of the S2S2O3, remember, S double bond, S double bond O. Right? So, what is left out? 2 oxygen, 2 hydrogen. So, OH, OH. Then S2S2O4, dithionous acid, only for NEAT it is important or JE important, these four remember, dithionous acid, so that is S double bond O, direct sulfur-sulfur linkage is there in this case, remember that, so OH and here it is OH, so there is a one lone pair here and here, S2, S2O4. Then dithionic acid, this is the one acid having direct sulfur-sulfur linkage, remember that. Direct sulfur sulfur linkage like this. Like this. So remember, very important. So all these are dibasic. You can say everywhere that is two OH groups are there. Here also it is dibasic only. Remember that. And reducing nature. Reducing nature, it is SH bond is not there, but S2SO4, S2SO3, sulfurous acid can act as reducing agent. But another important point when it was asked in uh, NEAT, remember, so what is the product formed when Marshall's acid undergo hydrolysis? I will tell you this here. Marshall's acid undergo hydrolysis, remember. So, for example, after hydrolysis, what happens is this bond is undergoing cleavage. So, S2S2O8 on hydrolysis, remember, on hydrolysis, you are going to get, in this particular case, when I break this bond and add water S2SO4 plus S2SO5 you are going to get. One is peroxo monosulfuric acid and sulfuric acid you are going to get. 
and we know that this will undergo hydrolysis what is the product so same product remember when it undergo hydrolysis you are going to get two moles of sulfuric acid this is about oxo acids of sulfur then lastly oxo acids of chlorine very simple one so hclo hypochlorous acid hypo which means see oxidation state plus 1 here plus 3 here plus 5 here plus 7 here see chloric acid ic is common oxidation state standard then us is less than ic so this is hypochlorous hypo means less than this per means more than this remember per more than this like permanganate right now hypochlorous acid hypochlorous acid structure is very simple linear structure remember this is having linear structure so cl oh only this is the one and there will be three lone pair of electron present here linear structure in all these case remember once again cl is sp3 hybridized so then chlorous acid chlorous acid structure is remember cl double bond o oh v shape it is lone pair lone pair so remember here the central element is cl not oxygen remember that chloric acid chloric acid structure is like this so in each step remember one uh, this uh, the lone pair of electron is replaced double bond o and here there is a one lone pair and this per chloric acid there is no lone pair cl double bond o double bond o double bond o oh all these are mono basic acid because one oh is present and here also they can ask how many lone pairs of electrons are present here it is 3 here it is 2 here it is 1 here it is 0 remember that then order of acidic nature very simple very important order of acidic nature remember as electronegativity increases acidic nature acidic nature increases and similarly as oxidation state increases acidic nature increases for example see among these only i will take among these only very important very simple hclo4 more than hclo3 more than hclo2 more than hclo that is example for second statement first statement which i take so then hclo4 more than similarly hbro4 more than hio4 like that if you take hclo3 also in any case remember cl having more acidic nature hclo3 more than hbro3 more than h hio3 hio3 like that this is the same order for thermal stability also remember that thermal stability is more thermally stable hclo4 right so because of that more thermal stable it is having least acid oxidizing nature oxidizing nature power if i write the order so hclo more than HClO2 more than HClO3 more than HClO4. Remember this. So this is the order HClO, HClO2, HClO3, HClO4. So order of oxidizing nature. Very, very important. Order of oxidizing nature is like this. So remember that particular point. Or you could, if you take uh, this HClO3 also. So in this particular case, this is the order for this. But if it is HClO3 like that, if I consider HClO3 because of more electronegativity, HClO3 is good oxidizing nature than HBrO3 than HiO3. Remember. So if I consider same halogen, then HClO thermally less stable can act as good oxidizing nature. In this case, remember thermally it may be stable, but because of the electronegativity factor, this is good oxidizing nature than HBrO3 and HiO3. So, like that. So, this is about oxo acids of chlorine. So, these are the oxo acids of chlorine, sulfur and phosphorus. Definitely, it is very, very helpful for NEET, JE and CET exam. Thank you for watching. If you are registered to my channel for the first time, subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.